Hi, I'm Lord Rezare and I'm doing this video for the official Windows Facebook page and I love Windows 7. We're going to be looking at all the customizations that I've done from the theme to the log on the screen and many more things. I'm running Windows 7 Ultimate 64 bit right now after switching from 32 bit. So let's look at the log on screen itself. You can see that this is somewhat reminiscent of the Longhorn days, and I'm being able to achieve this by using Windows Logon Reworked that you can find on deviantart.com or askvg.com. I've done a video of this on YouTube, and you can check my Windows 7 playlist. You can see that by looking at the uh, shutdown page and everything else, you get the normal options there, but you don't get ease of access unless uh, you're already logged in. So click on this use icon here. Starting with the operating system itself, you can see that by looking at the start orb, it's a fresher looking almost Windows Live style uh, start orb. Looking across the task bar, you can see this pretty nice and clean. There's no stripes like the default arrow in Windows 7, that's because I've used a nice little tool which allows you to tweak the blur for Aero without having to restart explorer.exe, your computer or anything like that. I've done a video on it on my YouTube channel, so if you want to check that out then do so under the Windows 7 playlist. You can see here in the system tray that all these icons are um, pretty much custom. If we just plug in a USB device here, you can also see that that's changed. And if we go to Task Manager, you can see that that's changed too. For my antivirus, I'm using Microsoft Security Essentials 2.0. If we click on the Start menu, you can see this is pretty fresh with all the lettering and names of the links with a nice glow to them. All programs, different. Right now I'm using the Windows Live Essentials, although I don't use the Bing bar because I don't really see a point of it. You can see that the sh button for selecting the shutdown and log off and all that uh, is pretty much like the Office 2010 logo, which I'm also running Microsoft Office. One of the neat things about the customizations I've done over time using different sources is if we go to devices and printers just for example looking at this window you can see that the the contents are now at the top the top shell style this is a reminiscent of a longhorn which uh, some of you may know from the early Vista days, that was the project by Windows. I don't know, for some reason I pretty much like this more than um, it being at the bottom of the window. If we go to my computer, you can pretty much see that it's the same again, right at the top, but this time the uh, status the hard drive space status is kind of different. I think that the it's pretty much more modern and more stylish than what you get in the default Windows 7 interface and Vista that Windows and Microsoft have been using for years now. This is a nice take on it. I'm using the default icons for folders and such like that from Windows 7 because I like them. I think they're okay. If you right click on the desktop, you can see all of these little tabs here like desktop wallpaper location, MS config, notepad, all of that lot. This is achieved through a simple program called Right Click Extender for Windows XP, Vista, and Windows 7. I've done a video on this again, which is on my channel. You can check that out. It's a pretty cool application. 
you can adjust uh, shortcuts for your context menu or right click menu on your desktop for right clicking on applications in my documents computer and stuff like that it's pretty nice you also get a handy god mode right in the context menu for unlocking other functions that's not generally achieved through the control panel Right now I'm using Rocket Dock as my dock application with stack docklets. This I just think it's a cleaner way of accessing shortcuts. I do have a lot of icons and applications pinned to the taskbar like um, Advanced System Care, Malware Bytes, Windows Live Messenger, Google Chrome, VLC, Sony Vegas, VirtualBox such uh, if we again with this theme just go over a live thumbnail you can see it's pretty straight cut edged and if we bring up the jump list you can see this pretty a nice new look to it if we just go to control panel and then system and security and system you can see that here I've changed it from the standard Windows Vista logo to this one. Uh, this was achieved by someone who modified a branding uh, DL, uh, Shell BRD, I think. Um, I've got a tutorial on how to change it yourself manually if you want to. We can see that the Windows Experience Index is 5.7. We can see my. Um, just a little overview of my specs here. Even though it says 2.93 gigahertz, it's actually overclocked to 3.1. I don't know why Windows 7 is um, isn't recognizing that. If we click on Windows Experience, we'll see that my RAM and processor are both 6.6 .6 with my video card that's a ASUS EAH5670 1 gig. It's 7.1 and the data transfer rate is 5.7 that's the base score for my hard drive one thing I didn't mention before is like these navigation icons here we also have a very nice uh, again probably Longhorn inspired uh, address bar as well as these nice little minimize close and maximize icons so all of the links for the applications and resources used in this video are going to be in the underbar slash description or whatever you want to call it for this video. Uh, until next time, thank you for watching and goodbye.